everyone, you're welcome to Carrie's Tutorials. I'm Simeon Grace. Today, I'll be taking us on how to make a double flay peplum blouse. And in case you need a style for your own one bed, this is the real style for it. I'll be using three different fabrics in this tutorial, which are my lace, the scuba material, and a mercury fabric. The mercury fabric can also be called mirror tapeta, depending on your location. And I'll be using pearls to design my blouse so it will be it will look more beautiful all right the measurements you're going to be needing are the under bust measurements the half length of our blouse and the full length of the blouse we'll also be needing the shoulder measurements the sleeve the round sleeve the bust and the under bust circumference so let's move on <laughs> My lace fabric this is my lace fabric and this is a foam material this is a foam material I'm using this to cut the flay and the sleeve and this is a mercury I'll be using this to line the flay of my blouse so now the first thing I'm going to cut out here on this lace fabric is the half length of our blouse but before I do that, I'll still be needing this lace edge, so I'm just going to cut it out and keep it for the future. <laughs> okay. Now the half length of our blouse from here is 16 inches. I have one inch seam allowance that is 17 inches. The arm hole I'm using here, the length is 9 inches. Person is a bit tall, so you can actually use it 8.5 or 9 inches. And the under bust measurement is 13 inches. So I have 13.5. That's with the same allowance. The shoulder. First, we need to fold our fabric. And what are we folding with? We have the bust the under bust circumference measurement and the highest measurement is the bust so i'm folding using the bust measurement the bust is 38 plus 8 is 46 this 8 inches i'm adding to this for this measurement is our same allowance so 38 plus 8 divided by 4 is 11.5 inches so it automatically means your measurement divided by 4 plus 2 inches still the same as your measurement plus 8 divided by 4 all right so we have a 9 inches for the arm o 13 inches is the under bust measurement i have 13.5 with my same allowance 16 inches is the half length i have 17 inches with my same allowance the shoulder measurement is 15 divided by 2 is 7.5 i'll add half inch to to join as a seam allowance I have 8 inches now the bust measurement will be taken on those points and that is 38 plus 8 divided by 4 which is 11.5 so definitely is going to be at the edge of our folding now the under bust circumference measurement this is the under bust measurement and I'm going to get that immediately after my 13 inches so that is 34 34 inches plus 8 divided by divided by 4 that's 10.5 10.5 inches so I'm going to connect this from the shoulder to the bust that's the arm or the bust now to the other bust circumference I'm going to place this to cut out the back and I'll had it I'll had my zipper allowance just place the fabric I'll be adding two inches all right so that's my two inches 
all i'll just do is cut this out as well having done that i'm going to the vice i'll slit the back for my zip First, I'm going to get my neck design and the width is 3 inches you can always get your desired measurement for your neck design for the front the front depth here I'll be using 6.5 6.5 inches so first thing I'm going to do here the first thing I'm going to do is to notch this as the front and the back. Alright, so I'll get the neck design for the front. And the back, I'm going, I'm going to use 3 inches. Three inches as the depth and a kind of a U shape. You can always have your desired neck design anyway. So, all right. So that's the neck design. The next thing I'm going to do from here is to place my full material on my lace to cut out the princess that this is my full material and I'm going to fold to be equal to the shoulder measurements this is my folding also I'm going to measure 3.5 inches from the shoulder I'm going to have 3.5 inches so that's where my foam fabric is starting from and for my princess that I'm going to measure four inches the four inches is coming straight to the nipple point four inches then from my 3.5 my 3.5 inches I'm going to bring out my princess that shape so now I'm going to cut both the lace and the foam fabric they are not done also I'm going to bring out the design the design from the neck and I'll trace it out as well now the next thing I'm going to do here is to make sure I curve those this part coming from the neck I'll curve it What I have. So I'm going to cut things from here, just on the middle piece, and I have the side piece and also the other side. So this is the front. I'm going to cut out mercury fabric for this to line. I'll just place my mercury to cut it out.
All right, we are done with the friends. Also, I'm going to place the mercury to cut for the back. Just place your fabric. All you just need to do is place your fabric and cut exactly what you have here. Quickly, let's move to cutting out the flay. Cutting out the flay now, what we're going to do is first fold our fabric. I'll be using a full flay. So that means I'll fold into two on one side, into two on the other side. We have a tutorial on how to cut different types of flay. You can watch to help you on which type of flay to cut out. So I'm folding out a full flay here. And since our fabric is folded into eight, I'm using I'm attaching the flay to the on the bus circumference of 34 inches. So divided by eight inches, divided by eight inches, I will approximate that to four point five. So four point five. I have five inches round. The length of my flay is ten inches. The full length of the blouse is twenty-six inches. The half length we've cut out 16 inches, so we are left with 10 inches. So I'm cutting out 11 with my seam allowance. This is our flay. The next step is the lace fabric. So the length of the, of the lace fabric is seven inches and I measure eight inches with my same allowance, eight inches. The next thing I'm going to do is to cut out the sleeve I'm still going to place this on the mercury to cut out the lining. So cutting out the sleeve, we have the sleeve length of 13 inches. We have the sleeve length of 13 inches. I'll add one inch, that's 14 inches. The round sleeve is 14 inches, 14 inches and 11 inches is the round sleeve measurement. So 14 being the highest measurement divided by 2 is 7 inches. So 7 inches plus 3 inches is 10 inches. Now from my measurement, I'm going to measure down 4 inches. And I'm going to curve it out. This part is where I'm fixing to the armhole on my blouse. And we have the round sleeve of 11 inches. So 11 divided by 2 is 5.5 with our same allowance of 1 inch. That's 6.5 inches. And we have 14 divided by 2 is 7 plus 1 inch. That is 8 inches. I'm going to slant in it from my 4 inches straight down. So, let's cut. I'll use this to cut the other sleeve. watching Carrie's tutorials i am sure you enjoyed the class don't forget to click the subscribe button and don't forget you can follow us on facebook and on instagram at oafrica tv 
You can also follow me on Facebook and on Instagram at Skyris Creations. You can leave your comments in the comment box below. So I see you next class. Bye.